afternoon everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jeanette Clegg, better known, better known as Crafty Clegg's Creations. Now I did promise you all that I would help you and do some small tutorials on how to make crocheted amigurumi toys. These are not going to be professional in any way shape or form, it's just for fun that I'm doing this. So do please be kind as I've never done this before. So what I've done is I've found us a sweet little pattern. It's this little tiny acorn. And I've chosen this because it's quite a small project, so it's not going to take us very long to complete. And it is quite an easy one to do. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what supplies that you will need. I will leave a link in the description box below to this pattern that I found. It was a free download off the internet and that's what you need to do. Download your pattern. So we've got the pattern. The next thing that we'll need is some yarn. And I'm using the Rika Ruma DK 100% cotton. This yarn is superb for anything that is amigurumi. It's a really good yarn, it's very inexpensive and the last time I looked I think there was about 109 solid colours and since then they have added variegated colours so you could always you know do these in different colours if that's what you wanted to do. So you need three different colours. Um, these two colours are for the acorn and this is for your leaves. So that's your yarn that you're going to use. Then you'll need your crochet hook. My crochet hook is a three millimeter and it's a soft touch handle. Um, I tend to use these because I do do a lot of amigurumi as you'll all know. Um, and these are a little bit better for your wrist because doing a lot of amigurumi can be quite stressful on your wrist and give you a little bit of pain. And this soft touch handle does help. So you need your crochet hook. The next thing that you will need, I'll put it down there so you can see it, is one of these stitch markers. Most amigurumi is crocheted in a spiral that goes round and round, so you always have to mark the beginning of your round so you know basically where you're up to and that you can follow your pattern. So it's very important that you have your stitch marker. The next thing are your safety eyes. You will need two safety eyes. Um, you can get these from most craft stores. I get mine from the internet, but there is a lot of different craft stores that is dotted around that you will be able to get them from. And it does tell you in the pattern what size eyes, safety eyes that you need and what size crochet hook you need. These can be quite difficult to put on. Sometimes you get them on really easy and then other times they are very difficult. So I just wanted to pre-warn you of that. You will also need a sewing up needle. This is to sew the embellishments on the face and construct your acorn as they're made in two separate pieces and then you have to join them together. So you'll need your sewing up needle. You'll also need a pair of scissors and you will also need some embroidery floss. Now I'm using a black or a brown for the mouth and a white for the cheeks. But if you don't have an embroidery floss, don't worry about that because you can always use any scraps of yarn that you have. It's just to put some character onto your acorn. And then last but not least, you will need some stuffing, some fiber fill stuffing. Um, this is probably about as much as you will need to stuff the acorn. I do like to stuff my toys, um, dolls, teddy bears, acorns, whatever I'm making. I do like to really, really stuff them. And then when you've stuffed them, you can actually manipulate them and put them into the shape that you want. So there are all your supplies that you're going to need. So I'm going to leave you with that now. And I will come back in a couple of days when you've all gathered your supplies and we'll start crocheting our cute acorn. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in a couple of days. <laughs> 